By the way, we mentioned it earlier, but Kevin King has not been back in the game at cornerback. Went out with that groin injury. Devon House, number 31, bottom of your screen, has played a lot for him. Here's Cousins. Gonna let it fly. Gonna let it go deep for Diggs. He's got it. Safari Diggs. Touchdown. A bomb from Cousins to Diggs. Showing blitz. Rams bring it. Keenum gets rid of it. Thielen makes the move. Adam Thielen. Off to the races. Touchdown! Patterson will bring it out. Full head of steam. He's gone. Patterson, what a start to the half. Touchdown, Minnesota. Special teams. A score for the Vikings. This passing game the last three weeks has opened up doors that they just haven't shown before. For Daryl Patterson, big scene, big hole. He might try and take this all the way, and he will. No flags. 101 yards, and the Vikings are on the board. Vikings at 5-7, and seven, still mathematically in playoff contention. But they need a win here against the Jets. Third and five. Good throw, far side. This is no right. first down and roll. Only Richardson to beat. Right. Will score. And the Minnesota Vikings win it on an 87 yard catch and run to Jarius Wright. Getting things started, Green Bay won the toss, deferred, so the Packers will kick off. For Darrell Patterson, will take it from eight yards deep. And one of their number one draft choices through the middle, and he starts things with a great run back being chased by Maste. He can't get him, and all the way for a touchdown. And they're going to rule it 109 yards, which equals the longest play in the history of the National Football League. You can't have a play any longer than that. And four kickoffs in his career for touchdowns. Awaits on the kick from Jason Hansen. And Harvin, five to seven yards deep into his own end zone, will bring it out and look out. Here goes Harvin. He's got one man to beat. Down to the 40. Down to the 20. Percy Harvin, a touchdown for Minnesota. 105 yards and they did a heck of a job with that neither team made the playoffs last year they want to get back to the promised land that's Percy Harvin Harvin switching directions he's got a lane and then some Percy Harvin across the 30 opening kickoff of the 2011 season and Harvin will score no flags are down You're right, he has had some big games against the Cowboys, but so far in this one, not what he had expected in his homecoming back to Minneapolis. Percy Harvin into the open field. No one will catch Harvin. And what a way to start the second half for Minnesota. But the excitement, what Mike Singletary is building, and the character you see on this football team on the field, the fans are absolutely loving it. Percy Harvin brings it back from the goal line. He's got some room. Watch out. Percy's gone. Percy Harvin is gone. Touchdown, Vikings. See, this, this run defense, where are they really good when you're trying to get in their end zone? Now, Farrakh tries to give him some breathing room, and he's going to take a shot deep down. Hanson kicking off and Andre Ellison, a great returner who already has a 60-yard kickoff return this year, will run it out from five yards in the end zone. And that's why Ellison 
to midfield. And he's inside the 30. No flags are down. It's a touchdown. 103 yards, I believe. Man right now for the Seattle Seahawks. And, and the their Vikings defensive team. Up. And That's their right. defensive team, Ronnie. Minnesota will keep it on the ground. Taylor somehow gets out of that, and Taylor's still moving. Taylor trying to go to the house. Bullwell's got to run him down, and he can't. Touchdown, Vikings. The longest run of the year for Taylor. Free agent acquisition made his presence felt on the first play of the second quarter. Hunter Smith almost had the kick blocked. It's a low kick. It's fielded at the nine yard line and not fair caught by Nate Burleson. That was a risky move and it's going to have a big, big payoff. Burleson with Campbell out there to block for him and he's going to run it to the end zone. Wow. So it starts out as a kick that almost gets blocked, winds up as a dangerous fielding of a punt and away he goes for 91. Mike Tice called on former pro bowler Gus Perot who promptly flashed his player for the deep ball. He steps up in the pocket fires deep right side. Kelly Campbell yes! Caught at the 40 and he is gone! 72 yards. Another big play for the Vikings offense. He has seven and a half this year. Second in the league. On the 15. Nice hole for Bennett. He's, Michael Bennett is going to take this all the way. 85 yards for a Vikings touchdown. Todd uh, is playing well. Maybe we can rally around Todd. Bauman throwing a screen pass to Michael Bennett. To the sidelines, look out. 35, 40. And he's to the 40 and the other way. 30, 20, headed to the end zone. Touchdown, Michael Bennett. 80 yards. Dante Culpepper on the Vikings, start from the 22, off the play fake, Culpepper eludes the sack, throws downfield for Randy Moss, Moss heading towards the end zone, oh, catch him. he's in! The reception, of course they haven't had a chance to be able to protect him long enough so that Jeff George could get the ball to him. Another very short kick and Tate explodes throw, still on his feet! Tate in a foot race, he'll go the distance. Touchdown, Minnesota. 77 yards. It's no fun when you're having your head handed to you. Loose ball. Picked up by Dwayne Rudd. Dwayne Rudd is going to go. 94 yards. Touchdown. He's going to get a 15-yard penalty for taunting. And the give to Robert Smith, who cuts it back to a big hole across the 30. And Smith is in a foot race. I don't think anybody's going to catch him. Touchdown, Minnesota Vikings. Robert Smith turns on the speed. And the fans here at Rich Stadium in a bit of a state of shock because nobody came close to touching it. You just, it's just something alien to him. And he only has 11 catches all year. Amp Lee is back in there on third and long. Johnson with time. Throws a strike to Reed. Jake Reed is gone. 82 yards for a touchdown. <laughs> An outstanding job. Score 13 10 bikes, five minutes to go. Warren Moon, Kadri Ismail. After it hits both McNeil and Blades, he's gone. So a three point game is now 10. 85 yard touchdown, and that nailed it, Tom. Yeah, and as you watch this ball, poorly thrown ball by Warren Moon, but the defenders both play it. The ball gets tipped up in the air. Receivers practice this drill every day, the tip drill. Later in the third, Kramer dropping back. And Dwayne Washington, the number one pick. Look at him go. He could go all the way. 81 yards. The Vikings 
shake, rattle, and roll the Chicago Bears, 42 to 14, sending them back in another century. First... The game's biggest step belonged to Lamar McGriggs, number 37. Pile and Dent got the arm in. Gale with the recovery. The ball is at the 21. Waddle in motion. And Waddle's pass is picked off by Jack Del Rio. And Del Rio with a convoy gets past Harbaugh. Waddle tries to chase him down and can't. And Jack Del Rio, if he doesn't run out of gas with a flag down back at the 32 for the moment is in the end zone, but there's a marker down at the 32 yard line. Didn't you think that ball hit the ground? I thought the, <laughs> it's a moot point because they ruled an interception, but it looked like the ball hit the turf. Well, first of all, Jim Harbaugh tried to force that ball in there. It sure looks like it's coming back. Waddle was covered completely. We have a low block on number 57 on Chicago, an unnecessary roughness. We have a touchdown. Whoa. We will assess the 15-yard penalty on the kickoff. 